Hello everyone, this is Taboretum Channel, uh, episode 2, and we'll be talking today how 3D printing might be actually useful. Um, and I will start with a story. Some time ago I needed a ladder, so I bought an aluminium ladder, the biggest one that was available in the store. Spent some time trying to put it in my car. I made it, brought it home, and... Once I unpack it and took it to my flat, I figure out that these plastic caps on, 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 on the legs of the, of the ladder or the, the these feet are missing. So the idea was, yeah, I can pack it back, take it to the shop and they will tell me, hmm, either you just stole those caps because you have your old ladder without ones, so you are kind of stupid or you just didn't notice that you are buying one that is not complete. So again, you are stupid. So hmm. the quick idea was, hmm, I have two leg, two, two feet. I lack other two, so I will just copycat them. So I quickly designed them, printed, put them on, um, make some noise on the corridor. But as you can see, here they are. So. 3D printing might be used to avoid humiliation. That's the first point. Then there's a number of cases where you can make your wife or girlfriend happy. Right, so we have a radiator in bathroom, as in many bathrooms there's a radiator, and there was a need for hooks that you can hang on your towel or whatever. So I designed them, printed them, and here they are. The other thing was uh, we have some hexagon shapes in, in bedroom and there was a question, honey, can we have kind of a hangers that are more uh, hexagon and 3D and behind the, the doors in, in, in the bedroom? So again, designed, printed, mounted and here they are. The other thing is our espresso machine. I believe you also, some of you are espresso fans or coffee fans. So whenever this machine is on or off, it will rinse itself. So the water is coming out of this nozzle and either you catch it in some container or it just comes down to the tray and you need to empty the tray more often. So let's put it something there, right? But using a cap is not super nice. You have a cap always standing there. Uh, so the idea was to design something that will be nice, good looking, maybe a shape a bit similar to the, to the espresso machine itself. So here it is. And I'm a, we are using it for quite some time now and it is still watertight. So happy about that. So hooks. Uh, hangers, uh, espresso machine cap, so you can use 3D printing to mine your wife coins. So a more serious topic. Um, I was using my 3D printer uh, for quite some time to print um, masks, face masks, uh, filter adapters for snorkeling masks and other devices that helped uh, um, people during the pandemics, during the COVID times, to stay safe. So you can use 3D printing to fight pandemics. Um, other use that I like a lot is in connection with your other hobbies. Um, I like woodworking, I like photography, so there are cases when I use 3D printing for example, in photography, I've printed an adapter to my uh, strobe light, flashlight, that can project um, a pattern printed on a, on a, trans, on a transparent foil, uh, which gives you ability to do some, some crazy uh, pictures. This one is not particularly interesting, but it's just a proof of concept. So once I do something that will be tasty, I might show you. And the other thing is, is woodworking, and in woodworking uh, I do quite a lot of 3D printing, some, some uh, jigs and some, some tools to help myself. And the only thing that I have at home that I can show you is this, um, this mount for a, um, for a um, shelf in a drawer uh, that uh, is both woodworking and, and 3D printing. So 
uh, you can use 3D printing to boost your hobbies. Um, other thing that, that I do quite often is fixing things. I don't like to throw away stuff to uh, you know, fix, repair by replacing. Um, so for example, ages ago I had a blender, this giraffe blender, I don't know if it's called like that in English, uh, that uh, just the, 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 the accessory coupler um, got destroyed because someone tried to blend um, frozen meat. Um, so, and the, 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 there were basically no spare parts. You could just buy other thing and throw away the basically uh, good, uh, good blender just with one part that is, that is um, broken. So I designed and, and printed this uh, coupler for blender accessories. Um, at the time, mm, you know, there are these monsters that eat your socks from a washing machine that you, you put two socks there, a pair, and then after, after, after taking the, um, the, um, the laundry out, there's only one. So there's also, th this monster has a cousin that lives in dishwashers. And one day we figure out uh, that uh, the bottom basket of our dishwasher is missing one wheel. And again, the, you can't buy the spare because this was already quite an old uh, dishwasher. So either you buy the whole basket or you just print out the new uh, wheel. So basically you can use 3D printing to fix stuff which equals save some penguins. Um, and last but not least definitely, uh, it's a really nice topic for some small talks and even not so small talks because wh whenever you play with, uh, for example, with this articulated fish thing that is that people pretty often print out, uh, you immediately start a, a interest in other people and you can talk about something that is your passion so it's easy to talk easy to um, interest people with and I yeah, in my business discussions uh, especially these you know boring business uh, dinners um, I quite often talk about 3d printing uh, right next to scuba diving so it it might be 3d printing might be used to boost your business discussions okay so that's that's all for for today for this episode. Thanks a lot, and uh, uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you soon.